Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Dave. This lighting is atrocious over here, but on this channel we cover my passion for Lego investing, our BrickLink store, and general reselling. This particular video, we're going to be talking about the Lego investing side of my business, of my hobby, of this channel, and what I have here are a ton of boxes that came from Amazon Prime Day, Target Days, Walmart Deal Days, whatever they call them. Uh, I may have gone a little overboard. Uh, it's definitely very washed out. I'm going to try and get this camera set up so that you guys can see really well what it is that we're going to be opening. These all came in while I was on vacation, so I have not had the opportunity to open them yet. However... I've got a massive amount of sets down here that I actually need to get stored away. Remember one of those mistake rules, don't stack your sets. Well, I've got a lot that are sitting on the ground that are starting to stack up. So I need to get those boxed. I'm going to use these boxes from the ones that I'm opening today. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Before we get into things though, if you don't mind, please go ahead, click on that like button below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we would really appreciate it if you did. And please let us know in the comments below what kind of deals you picked up on Amazon Prime Day, Target Deal Day, whatever you want to call it. So let us know what cool finds you had. Let's get into this. So I think this angle is as good as it gets. We're going to be diving through these sets in no particular order because, honestly, I hardly remember exactly what I ordered. So the first box we're going to start with is from Target. Okay, yep, I remember ordering some of this set. So from Target, we've got this Lego Ninjago Kai's Mech Jet. This set, I believe, was on sale for $11, which is about 50% off a retail price. Uh, I don't see a packing slip in here to confirm the pricing, so we're going to go with that for right now. Uh, I am happy to see that I don't see a bunch of red stickers over these. I did see a couple people who have stated that when they received their Target orders, they had a bunch of the red barcodes on them. Thankfully, this isn't one of them, but we've got one. We've got two. We've got another three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got ten of the Kai's Mech Jet. Okay, this next box is from Walmart, and I'm a little bit concerned, not because of the box or the fact that it is from Walmart, but the fact that it did take some water damage. Uh, we had someone here who was bringing sets in for us, uh, or our packages in for us, watching the house while we went on vacation. However, uh, this one did sit outside a little longer, and it looks like we might have had a little bit of water damage on these sets. Not too bad, though. Uh, we've got one and two, which also looks like it did get some water damage to it, of the Wonder Woman uh, cheetah sets. So, uh, you know, sometimes things happen, and that's okay. Honestly, they're not as bad as I was expecting based on the condition of the box. So we got two of the Wonder Woman... Uh, I, think, I thought they were called Wonder Woman versus cheetah sets. They were supposed to be the San Diego Comic-Con. I can't spend this long on any of the sets, though because we got a lot more boxes. And we have set number 71717, which is the Journey to the Skull Dungeon. This thing, I believe, is normally a... I want to say it's a $30 set, and I think I was able to get it for about $16. Almost everything from Target was roughly half price. And so we've got one, two, and three of those sets. Next is another large Target box. I did get a lot of stuff from Target. Honestly, I think I got more from Target than Amazon or Walmart. Uh, the Target deals during that period were far superior to the others. Let's toss these aside. And I am happy to see I did end up placing a second order. And it went through for one, two, three more of that Skull Dungeon set that thankfully we just got done talking about. I also ended up getting one, two, three of set number 41252, which is Poppy's Hot Air Balloon Adventure. This set, I believe, retails for $40, and I want to say it was around 21, 22. This one may have even been as low as 17. I don't fully remember, sadly. 
but we got a really good deal on this. So we've got three of those to add to the... Um, I'm not 100% positive if all of these are going to go in the investment log or how many of them I may part out. It is a lot of sets. And I do need to continue to grow the BrickLink store as well. So some of these, even though we're reviewing them here and going over this haul, will actually end up uh, being covered in our BrickLink video as well. So stay tuned uh, for Wednesday's video where I cover which of these are going to go into the store. We now have an Amazon package. And this one I was excited about. The ship in the bottle. This one wasn't 50% off. But I want to say they have it around 37 or 40% off. I got a couple of these from Lego back when they had a gift with purchase. But I paid retail, which I think is $70 for them. These ones here, uh, I, I wanted to get a couple more. Because I feel like this set is going to do fairly well. This is the newer of the part numbers. I believe this is one of the sets that was re-released. Re so... Uh, anyways, I got three of these from Amazon to add to the investment log. Ugh, big box. Let's see what we got in here. I placed a couple different orders with Target. Hey, hey, hey. Looks like we got a lot of troll stuff. So let's see what we got. This one here is the Volcano Rock Concert. Again, roughly 50% off. I don't remember the prices, but we've got one... We've got two. This one does have a sticker on it. These are the things that sometimes Target will do. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten of the rock concert. Okay, we're going to do one more of these mammoth boxes before I get back to some smaller boxes so I can make space. Ugh! But you can see here I have an even larger Amazon box. Ooh, that's kind of exciting to see. They're boxes within a box, which means it must have been one of the larger sets. I'm trying to remember what it is. I did not know these came packaged in another box, but this is set number 41375, the Heart Lake City Amusement Park. Again, a phenomenal deal. I think this set normally retails for $129.99, and Amazon had it for $78, if I remember correctly. Uh, I did end up getting three of these sets. And these are big boxes, but thankfully they come kind of pre-packaged in another box, which makes them a little bit easier to store. We're going to go ahead and visit one of our Walmart orders now. This is kind of fun because I don't remember what I ordered, so it's kind of like birthday presents. Apparently I ordered a massive amount of void fill. Wow, that is a ton of void fill for two sets. The two sets we got are the Lega... Lego, Lego, Elsa's Magical Ice Palace. We got two of these. Uh, these things, again, were about 50% off, I believe. We're just going with that as the price, but I did end up ordering two. I'm going to take a guess. I know what's in here. I do happen to see more Void Fill, which is clearly what I was going for. I feel like the same person maybe packed both of these orders because we got two more of them. So I've got four of these. I think that's all I ordered. I don't exactly remember, but we'll see when we get through the rest of them. Ah, possibly the largest of the boxes that I have. Holy smokes, this thing's huge. Oh boy, this is going to be a lot to go through. I need to set this down. Okay, we got it set down. Here we go. We've got Snow Speeder. We've got a few of those. That's three, four... Five, six. I do see we got some of the red labels. That's okay. I can pull those off. It's just more labor intensive. Uh, I don't know what number I'm up here. I'm going to go with I got 10 of those because I'm pretty sure that's what the limit was. I do have some more troll sets. These are the Rainbow Caterbus, apparently. I've ordered these in the past and I believe I parted out all of them because I don't have any in my investment log currently. I think I'm going to end up hanging on to these. Looks like I got two of them. Box is a little bit squishy, but that's okay. Hard to complain when you order this many things. We got three of those. We have Spider Jet versus Venomac. We've got one, two, three, four of those. I do see red stickers across all of them, so 
This box apparently was packaged that way. It is what it is. We have Mia's House. This one I specifically picked up because it was uh, on sale. I think it was only 30 or 40% off. But I feel like I remember this being a retired set. I don't know exactly. We do have more of these sticker culprits. Uh, anyways, we got one, two, and three of those. Uh, this one definitely... This box got beat up probably the most. I definitely see a fair amount of box damage. But it's... Again, it's hard to complain when you order this many sets. It's going to happen. We're not going to be too worried about it. Last set in here is the Submarine Adventure Duplo set 10910. Pretty cool set. Uh, I think this one was only around $10. It might have been around $12. Uh, I got 10 copies of that in this box. And that concludes this box. Here we go. Next box. We have another Walmart order. This one apparently packed by somebody else because clearly they didn't get my order for a bunch of uh, void fill. But they did fulfill my order for two more of the Elsa's Ice Palace. So that takes us to a total of six of these. This next box I actually did already open and I peeked inside briefly because they had a bunch of nasty stuff on the side. I wanted to see if that ended up damaging anything inside the box. It didn't. That entire side was apparently free and clear of anything. And this particular box contains 10 of the Diving Yacht 60221 sets. And this came from Target. So this was another one of the Target buys. We have another Amazon package. Ah, yes. So this is one that I feel like I took a slightly more risk with. Slightly more risk. A little bit more risk, however you want to say it. And I picked up some of these, which were Technic Rescue Helicopters. I don't have a whole lot of Technic, but I feel like there's a couple sets that I do have that I've seen some pretty good appreci appreciation with. And so these ones were pretty cheap. I want to say they were about 47% off, or maybe they were even 57 uh, so I picked these things up during the Amazon deals. I, I'm sure there's somewhere that if you go back and look, you can find the records of what all the different prices are. Maybe at the end of this video, I'll go ahead and show you a recap of exactly how much I spent for each of these sets. Okay, we got another Amazon box. Just went ahead and opened it here. And this one looks like we've got three of the Creeper Mind sets. So... Um, these were the cheapest, I believe, that I've seen these thus far. I want to say it was about 30 or 37% off. This next one, oh, if I didn't say I got three of those Creeper Mines, I, I don't remember if I called that out specifically, but it was three of those. This next one here is a Lego order that has taken forever to come. I ordered this. I don't think they tell me on these. I think we went over that before. Uh, now nah, it's got an order date of 621, which was not the case. But we finally got our roses so we've got one and two sets of roses and the part that i am most excited about but i got my vi no, i'm sorry not the vip coin this is the space coin so i was a little nervous because i ordered this a long time ago with the roses and that's how i fulfilled my uh, 35 dollars so i can use this promo code the roses were back ordered all of a sudden which meant that I wasn't sure if this coin was ever going to come. Apparently, they did set it aside for me. So I just received it. It was sitting in that warehouse for what had to be months. So, anywho, uh, very happy to have my space coin. That gives me three of the five. I'm just missing the castle and pirate one now. Well, that's interesting. I don't know what's at the bottom. Uh, anywho, let's go ahead and take a look here. And we can see that we've got some of the Sith TIE Fighters. Um... Again, I don't remember the price, but I see one, two, three of those in here. And then... That set sounds a little bit ominous. What in the world is in here? 10932 Wrecking Ball. Oh, this is one of the Duplo sets. Um, this one is actually not... I'm going to open this outer box what we got inside oh man i know a little boy who's gonna love this set and that's why i got this one this one is not for our lego investment side of things sorry folks uh this one is for my little boy luke he is gonna love this 
I'm going to set that aside. I can't wait to share that with him. Thank you all so much for sticking with me on this. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. I just want to say thank you. We are down to three boxes left. This is one, another one here. We have one large one that we're going to end things with. And then I'll go back and do a recap. Here we have another target order. And this one specifically is for another 10 of the Kaismex. So uh, I believe that takes us to a total of 20 of those. Maybe minus a couple that I already have over in my investment log. Pretty excited about these Ninjago. I have found actually some pretty good returns on them. So hopefully that particular theme continues to perform well. Here we go, another Target one. All of these are Target now. And we have more of the Spider-Man, Spider-Jet versus Venom X. It looks like we have six of them in this box, which makes sense because we did see four in that last box. This must have been the completion of that order, which takes us to a total of 10 of those sets. Last box Ugh, is another large one. Okay. We have more of the Snow Speeders. We've got three of the Thanos mech. That's the first time I pulled that out, so thanks for sticking around. You gotta see a new set there at the end. We got more of the Snow Speeder sets. We're dropping everything here. More Snow Speeders. More Snow Speeders. More Snow Speeders. Snow, spe snow Speeders? I don't know. We've got another five of the submarines in here. I guess lastly, I'm not going to pull them all out, but we have ten more of the Spider Jet versus Venomax. Holy smokes. That's it. Let me show you my disaster now. Here we are, folks. I am trapped in the back corner of the basement. You don't typically get to see me this far back because there's a lot of stuff in the way. However, you can see we've got box after box after box. And it goes and it buries it in and it just keeps going and going and going all the way over. So, whew, I would say I got them open. However, I think I may have more work now than I had opening them. I need to get this cleaned up. Luckily, we got a lot of great boxes here that I can go ahead and use to store. Kind of like I did a lot of these sets where I bundle a bunch of the same set together, label it, get it uh, stored over there. Those are the items that are soon going to end up making their way to a container or warehouse or some kind of a long-term storage because I just can't house it all down here anymore. We're looking into that. Hopefully that'll be information I can share with you in an upcoming Lego investment video. Thank you to everybody for watching the video. I appreciate you sticking with me this long. As always, we will see you in the next video. Bye.